Hi, I'm Valerie Harper. I'm starring in a wonderful comedy on Broadway called Looped, the Lyceum Theater, and I'm here at Broadway.com to answer your questions. So, fire away. Lexi, I listened to tapes of uh, Tallulah Bankhead speaking, and I actually have a tape of the very uh, event that the play is based on. It's a recording session uh, where she's trying to loop or re-record a uh, line from a movie, Die, Die, My Darling. So that gets me right in the mood. Well, I'd have to say we both love acting on the stage, <laughs> Harvey. Um, other than that, I'm not a smoker or a drinker, and I really don't imbibe in strange substances other than brownies and, uh, you know, um, pizza. But um, I think uh, love of the theater. Thanks for coming to the show, Gail. And the um, energy comes from, very much from the audience, because the laughs, it's such a hilarious show. Um, that we have to time, sometimes the actors just have to keep filling while the audience is rolling, splitting sides, and howling at the jokes. I think Rhoda would be um, hounding her daughter to give her grandchildren. <laughs> She's turned into Ida. <laughs> and I think Rhoda might be uh, running a small shop um, or maybe she had an online business. She's always a girl of the minute. Listen, Bob, I made my Broadway debut in the first musical I had seen. My mom and dad brought me when I was 16 or 17, uh, some birthday, to see Little Abner. And two years later, I auditioned for that very show and got into it, so it was really amazing. It was an absolute uh, joy, a privilege, and it was astounding because I had watched her on I Love Lucy. I mean, not like you guys, the reruns. I watched her first time around, so she was this incredible star, and she was so kind and so good to all the chorus members, and. Um, I, it was it was wonderful. I remember her uh, coming down to our dressing room and saying, "This is terrible. We've got to get this painted." And then there were union problems that you couldn't get non-union painters. And she said, "To hell with that. We'll come in on a Sunday and we'll paint it ourselves." Lucy was a great, great woman, and I, I was so feel so lucky. And then she and Bob Hope gave me my first Emmy some years later, ten years later after I'd worked with her on Broadway. The most interesting thing I've learned, Logan, was about her background. I, I knew who she was, and my mom loved her on the radio shows, and you have all these impressions of her. And I knew she was um, outspoken, political, a big, uh, you know, her family were Alabama Democrats. Uh, and um, there was a bank head in the Congress for 60 years straight, her uncle, her grandfather, and her father. Uh, but her childhood was, at the same time, neglectful and privileged. Uh, her mother died right after she was born, and um, her dad had a trouble with drinking for a bit, and she was shunted around and thrown out of a lot of good schools. One of them is the school my daughter went to, Sacred Heart, up on uh, 91st and 5th. Uh, she, one of six finishing schools, or, or not finishing schools, one of six um, schools, um, boarding schools, that she was thrown out of for bad behavior. Um, so learning about her childhood was very, very interesting. I guess I eat too much. That would be an indulgence for me. And, um, oh, yes, hot bubble baths. I really like that. And an occasional pedicure. I really do like that, those spa expensive pedicures where they massage. One time they did with hot wax. That was kind of a paraffin pedicure. That was fun. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I'm a major fan of Sex and the City and an enormous fan of Sarah Jessica Parker. She's one of the dearest people, lovely actress, kind, fun, resilient, and she set the tone on that set for fun and no, no drama and uh, no diva stuff. I mean, she's just wonderful, and I love the scenes with her. And I get a lot of comments about that show. People really love that, that um, Carrie had to break up with her boyfriend's mother because the mother and she hit it off, even though the guy and she didn't make beautiful music together. It was fun. I love doing that show. I did a movie that Paul Newman directed called um, um, The Shadow Box. That was a wonderful experience. Um, and I loved working on, um, let's see, um, I loved working on uh, um, that, that 70s show with a friend. Um, it was uh, Deborah Jo Rupp, who plays the mom. I played her sister, who was like a Mary Kay salesman. That was great fun. There have been so many that it's hard for me to pick, so please don't make you choose. I'm just giving you a couple. Listen, Patty, what's really important, if you're interested in this field, is to do it wherever you are. Maybe grammar school, get in the play. You need to find out if what you want to be is an actor or do you just want to step out of a limo in a great gown at a premiere or, you know, an award show? Do you just want a red carpet? Because red carpet is the very tiny, tiny portion of what it is to be an actor or a performer. So what you have to do is uh, work at it, see if it's what you really want to do for a life's work, and then you'll be happy doing it. Otherwise, you know, you'll find something else. That's a tough one, Carly. There are so many. Um, perhaps I like the one oh, later on in life, she was walking down the street and in her fur coat and somebody, oh, oh, are you too little banquet? Are you too little? Yes, darling, I'm what's left of her. And I think that's kind of fabulous self-knowledge. Uh, but she has so many, go online. You can print them out. They are hilarious. Thank you so much, all of you, for your questions. This has been fun. And please come see Tallulah and Valerie in Looped. We could say it would be an afternoon or an evening with Valula. <laughs> Take care. And thank you again.